Um, real happy with the team win. Um, you know, a, a great environment to start out the, the year and the season. You know, the 50 year anniversary of the building, the 100 year anniversary of our program, uh, to have that many elementary aged uh, students from Rutherford County in here. Uh, I don't have to tell you guys anything. It was loud in there, and the decibel level was really high. Uh, the uh, but uh, really proud for our team to to really stay locked in in an environment like that. Uh, you know, first game of the year, uh, a morning game, uh, a lot of students. So uh, a good environment, a good win. Uh, I like Brush's club. Uh, watch them on film. Uh, they play really hard. Uh, they rally to the ball defensively. They're aggressive defensively. So if you're sloppy, uh, they can really take advantage of it. They've got uh, several, as you, again, as uh, you folks so, saw, uh, two, three, four guys that can really make shots and make plays off the bounce. So uh, they've got a good ball club. We saw that against IUPUI and Murray State on film. And uh, they, they really uh, made us work. And, um, again, really happy for our team and, and the win. Coach, uh, obviously point guard was one of the positions you graduated last year. You had a lot of new faces back, but you know, talk about the job that, that Porter did coming in in his first game and in Weston as well. Yeah, really happy with the way JP played today, uh, Justin Porter. Uh, he's been working really hard all summer, uh, has integrated himself into our team. Uh, you, you think about as many newcomers as we, or excuse me, as many returning players as we have. Uh, to be a newcomer on a team that enjoyed a lot of success last year, uh, you kind of tiptoe and, and try to feel your way into what's going to be my role. You know, where do I fit into this group? And uh, he's just done such a nice job of uh, being a good teammate. He plays hard. He puts pressure on the defense with his speed and athleticism. You guys saw tonight, he just gets in the paint. And anytime you can get the ball in the paint, it just puts pressure on the defense. Um, he, he's a, a strong guard and uh, really liked what he did. Cam Weston uh, it continues to grow for us as well. Uh, came in here as a junior college player a year ago, uh, much like Porter. And uh, both of those young men are, are really going to help our team as the season progresses. Pensley in the first half, a lot of good things, tripping in those half court sets. Um, what did you like about your team overall in those situations, holding them just 19 points in the first half? Yeah, you know, anytime you can hold a team to a point a minute, you're, you're really guarding. Um, I think because of the way we play, you really have to be alert defensively anytime teammates go to trap the ball. Uh, the other three guys on the floor have got to be ready to rotate. So you've got to be uh, mentally alert to what's going on. You've got to see that, but also you've, you've got to be listening. And that environment today really forces our guys and our players to speak up when you're communicating and really be on, uh, really uh, concentrating and listening for those communications, whether it's ball screen communication, off ball switches that have to happen. Uh, it, it really forces you to raise your level of concentration in environments like that. And, you know, in this league, when you're on the road or uh, are here against uh, uh, the, the upper echelon of uh, college basketball teams, it's loud. And uh, an environment like today really helps us. Coach, you had a pretty distinct size advantage over them. But talk about the way you crashed the board, especially in the first half. And got, you know, three, four, five shot possessions at times. Yeah, we, we want to continue doing that, is putting pressure on teams to, to be good at defensive blockouts. Uh, we, we did a nice job. We had 12 offensive rebounds at halftime. Uh, ended up with 19. Uh, on the flip side, I thought we gave up too many offensive rebounds to Brescia. They had 10 in the first half, and a lot of that wasn't just necessarily man-on-man -man at the ball. We were getting beat off the bounce too much, and our, our rotations, our bigs were having to rotate over, and now our, our crackdown blockouts, if you will, uh, suffered a little bit. So uh, got to clean that up over the next two, three, four days, uh, but I, I liked our aggression uh, nonetheless. It seemed like there were some first game jitters breaking the press a little bit at times, but you know, improved on that in the second half in particular. What, what, did you, what was the key to switching that up and getting better results? Just spacing, floor spacing, understand uh, what they were trying to get us uh, with in their zone press. Uh, and, and if you're not alert to when they're going to trap, uh, then your off ball guys, t one, can guard two. Uh, you've got a couple guys that if you're spacing, you're only four or five feet apart and the ball's 25 feet away from you, well, one man can really take care of both of you. So it's really a matter of just adjusting some things with our floor spacing off the ball, uh, not so much the guy with the ball, uh, but it was more just being easier targets uh, off ball. Uh, Coach, we saw you, we saw you um, 
kind of get a little frustrated there with the play in the second half. How do you get your guys to regroup after they make some mistakes on the offensive line? You know, just kind of to your point, talk about it and regroup. Uh, you, you, you try to, f- to f- not let external forces control your effort and what you're trying to do execution-wise, uh, whether that's what time you're playing, uh, if you're playing at home or on the road, or you're playing a team that uh, you're better than, or you're playing against somebody that you're not favored in the game, uh, you, you've got to go out there and execute what it is you know how to do, regardless of what's on that scoreboard, regardless of who you're playing, regardless of where you're playing. And I think sometimes the the human nature, the natural tendency you have is, you know, we're up 25. I'm gonna try some things. And if you've got two or three or four guys that have that same mentality, all of a sudden you look up and what was a 25-point lead is a 15-point lead. Or what was an 18-point lead is now an 8-point lead. And now the game's very different. And so uh, we've got to stay uh, more mature in those moments so that uh, you build those lead against North Texas or Missouri State uh, that you don't get erratic with the ball or try things defensively. And those kind of teams are are really going to take advantage of it. It's going to be the focus in practice before heading down to Limburg on Saturday. Uh, really just kind of cleaning up some things that uh, we did today. I thought our turnovers uh, were too high. We had ended up with 17. Their offensive rebounds were too high at 14. Uh, just really trying to clean those things up. Uh, you know, and, and also just kind of getting some first game jitters out for some players today was really important. Uh, three newcomer guards and Justin Porter, Trayvon Smith, Trey Green, Jared Jones hasn't played uh, basketball in a long time. And the, his one year of playing here before today was a COVID year. So he's never played in front of fans in the Murphy Center. And so just getting out there and, and getting used to it's loud, the popcorn's popping, you know, you're, you're out there against live bullets, so to say, the, the competition is real now. Uh, so uh, it was really good for, for those players just kind of get their feet wet and what this is going to be about. And lastly for me, Coach, uh, would you like to bust uh, some of these kids to some of these road games you have this year? Oh, cool, man, it would be great like if we can uh, talk to the folks in Rutherford County to figure out how to get uh, a lot of activity buses and school buses uh, heading uh, up to Bowling Green or down to Birmingham where they can go with us to Rock Hill this coming weekend and, and play with them. It was a, a great environment. Uh, I'm going to need some Tylenol uh, after that one, but uh, it, it was fun. It's a, it was a good experience, you know. It's a brotherhood here, so it was fun to go out there with my brothers and play for the first time. Talk about dude, just getting rid of some of those early game jitters in the first half and, and what you guys <laughs> were trying to clean up. Yeah, we were just trying to execute and, you know, go at our pace. You know, they was kind of like, we was going at their pace a little bit, but, you know, we, we calmed down and went at our pace. So, yeah. You had a lot of success, success attacking the rim tonight. Mm-hmm. Is that always going to be a part of your game, or was it something that you saw in the scale that you knew you had an advantage? I mean, that's always been a part of my game, just attacking the rim. Like, mostly I attack the rim first and get going on my shot. But, yeah, getting to the uh, rack is a, a, a good thing that I'll be doing. How much different, you know, positively or negatively, is it, you know, jumping into a lineup that's really veteran like this group is, and you're the newcomer and a, and a point guard to boot. Mm-hmm. Talk about kind of mixing and, and gelling with these guys. Uh, it, it's kind of it was kind of hard at first, but you know we got I got to get to know everybody and stuff and in practice, you know, getting to feel how everyone plays. So it was good though. I fit in perfectly. I feel like. Uh, Justin, like you said, you're one of the newcomers here. What was it like to finally play a real game against somebody that's not your teammate? Yeah, it, it, it was fun. It was fun. We always go hard at each other in practice, so you know it was good to get out there and play against somebody else. What was your favorite song that they played for the kids today that, that really got everybody going? I don't even know. It was just like, couldn't right? even hear them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the kids are just going crazy today. It was fun, man. Um, highly anticipated first game. Brescia, shout, hats off to them. They're a great team, and they really got us ready for this up and coming game that we got against Winthorpe. So, yes, we was looking forward to playing this game and not going against each other in practice, but it was great. Yeah. So, uh, Elias, what you take away is the biggest positive and, you know, the biggest we need to improve on this from the game? Um, we got to play against other like live competition in front of fans. The the, the kids were great today. They, they were amazing. And um, we playing against like live opponents and being figuring out certain things. We're gonna have to watch film and pick up on our mistakes. But overall, I think we played great. Well, Elias, you held Brescia thirty three percent shooting today. What can you say about you guys' defense? Um, we're hounds on defense, even in practice, even on each other. So I knew that was going to kind of carry over. So, yeah, we were. That's just what we do. We defend. 
I heard you worked hard in the weight room this offseason trying to, to bulk up, sort of play more of that, that four position for the guys. Got seven boards tonight. What was it like to, to beat and bang a little bit more than maybe you've been used to in the past? Like you said, I gained 20 pounds this over this summer. And um, But Brescia, they were physical. They play hard. But as we know, Conference USA is very physical. So you got to add weight or you will not survive. Poor shooting night from the outside for you guys, but you were still able to make it happen on offense. Mm -hmm. you know, what's y'all stealing offensively when you can get some more of those shots to fall? Um, we was just really looking more to like our defense because our defense is our go-to. So like we were just looking for like more traps and you know playing the passing gaps and just get out on the rim because we knew we were more athletic than them.